Namaste. Welcome to this beautiful day. It is so beautiful out here in Michigan and I am so excited to be outside and just communicating with Mother Earth and just breathing. So let's do that for a moment. Breathe with me. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't the breath feel good? Also, why don't you give yourself a little hug? Just give yourself a little bit of a hug. Mm, because you know what? You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. So, I am going to give you an oracle pull today. If you're watching this, no matter when you're watching it, this message is for you. So, we are going to be working with the Star Seed Oracle right now. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful? I'm so excited about these cards and to bring you this message. So let's see what they have to say for you. And for me too, because I accept this message as well. No? Okay. Ha, here we go. Water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. I mean, really, you know, we are always doing for other people. And if you're anything like me, you're a caretaker and you want to take care of other people. And so we're constantly helping other people. This is a card and a sign for you to water your own garden in this moment. Find some time, take some time to nourish yourself. Find some time for some body care. Maybe go get a massage. Um, be tender with yourself. Rest as much as you can. Um, you know, with society's idea of um, achievements and success is go, 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 go. But it, in reality, it's within our rest time that we actually are the most fruitful are the most successful is when we're resting. Um, that gives things to come full circle, gives us time to catch up on things. It just gets our body, mind, and spirit time to recharge. So absolutely, this is your sign to go nourish yourself. Um, me personally, um, you know, there, there are many places I could travel to, absolutely, and many places I've already traveled to in my lifetime. Um, but my most favorite space and place to travel to is my own backyard. This is my backyard and I absolutely love it. And I have made my own yard and my own home a sanctuary. And I have space set aside for divine connection, for prayer, for meditation, for yoga. Um, and then I have turned my yard into a sanctuary for myself to relax and renew and just take some time for me so you don't have to have money and you don't have to travel to far out exotic places to find your peace within you you're gonna find your peace and nourishment that you're seeking with what surrounds you look at your home what can you do to make it more nourishing for yourself, more peaceful for yourself? Look at your yard. What can you do? Could you add a garden or a fairy garden, um, some hammocks? Um, what can you do to make it a comforting, gentle space for you? Look around you to find your peace because it's in the environment around you that's going to really help you find that peace. I mean, you could go travel and go to um, some exotic places and enjoy the scenery and definitely, absolutely experience new experiences. There's nothing wrong with that. But you're going to come back to your space, your home, eventually. So it's important to make that space a safe place, a sanctuary for you, a place that you can connect with your body, mind, spirit on a regular basis, a space that is comforting to you. Your home is where your heart is. So 
make your environment around you a place that you love and you're going to notice a huge shift within you. So go take care of yourself today. You deserve it. Bye.